Hey guys, welcome back to Fairies Tutorials. Guess what? Episode 2 of the series Production of Common Food Commodities starts right now. But before we get into it, can you guess which commodity we'll be looking at? It involves terms such as polished, parboiled, paddy, husk, milling, refined. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it is. It is rice, guys. Yes, so in today's episode, we will be looking at the production of rice. Stay production Baby, of cereals. Specifically, we'll be looking at rice. Let's go. So, by the end of this session, you should be able to state a definition for cereals, label the cereal grain, discuss the nutritive value of a cereal grain, label the rice grain, and also to define at least three key terms related to the production of rice, and most importantly, to list the production process of rice. Now, let us look at an overview of cereals. A cereal is any grass cultivated for the edible components of its grain, composed of bran, endosperm, and germ. Now, as you can see on the this side of your screen, you're seeing a cereal grain, right? And this is a general format for all cereal, cereal grains. We have first we have the bran, and the bran is the rich outer layer that protects the seed and contains B vitamins and trace minerals. We also have the endosperm, which is the middle that contains carbohydrates and proteins. And finally, we have the germ, which is small and rich in nutrients. Now, let us see what else we have here. In their natural form, as in whole grain, they are a rich source of vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, fats, oils, and also protein. Now, on the diagram here, you have two images that we're looking at, right? So we're looking at the autonomy for the whole grain and also the white grain, good? So the white grain, let's look at the differences. The white, the whole grain has the bran included and also the germ. However, for the white grain, you only have the endosperm. And as we move on in today's session, you'll understand fully the different products that we get from these. Now, when refined by the removal of the bran of the, and germ, the remaining endosperm is mostly carbohydrates. Good. So even though the whole grain is so nutritious, after processing and the removal of certain layers and we end up with the endosperm, the main nutrient that is present is carbohydrate. Point. Now that you have observed the diagram of the cereal grain, let us see if you could label one for yourself. So we have the brown outer layer, we have three par parts. We have an outer layer, we have an inner and a most inner. Now, could you, can you identify these parts? Let us see. Right, I hope you were correct. So we have the brand, which is the brown, ultra layer here we have the endosperm and also the germ now we're going to look at rice in detail good now based on what you're seeing here i know that after the end of this session you'll be able to tell me all about these images that are displayed here now let's go let us look at some definition of key terms related to rice production. Specifically, we'll be looking at milling and polished rice. What is rice milling process? Rice milling is the process which helps in the removal of hulls and brands from paddy grains to produce polished rice. 
now as you can see here after the rice has been harvested it is called paddy rice after this it goes through a process of the husking where it produced brown rice and later white rice but as we go on in this session you will find out some more details the next term is polished rice Polished rice refers to rice which has been milled to remove the husk, bran, germ, and varying amounts of the nutrients contained in them, leaving a starch-rich grain, which simply means that polished rice is mostly rich if it's not enriched after processing or fortified, it is mostly filled with carbohydrates. No. Polished rice has less moisture, minerals, biotin, niacin, protein, and fatty content than brown or lightly milled rice. Now, let us look at the parts of a rice grain. You may notice that the parts of the rice grain are very much similar to cereal grains. Why is that so? Yes, because rice is also a cereal. Good job. Now, let us explore the parts of the rice grain. So the first part we have here is the hull. Good. After the hull comes the bran. We also have the endosperm and found under the hull is the germ. Good. Let us proceed. Now, let us look at what is the hull. Each grain of rice is enclosed in a tough outer hull or husk that needs to be removed before it can be consumed. This layer remove, is removed in all rice types. Next part, the brand. Under the hull, the brand layer is not removed in all rice types. This nutritious whole grain section is usually tan colored, as you can see in the image here. Good. But it may be reddish or black depending on the pigmentation of the bran layers. The bran layer may be consumed, but is, is often removed when further processing of rice next part we're going to look at is white rice or we may say endosperm once the bran and germ layers are removed white rice remains known as the endosperm this is the part of the rice that is mostly consumed the germ the germ is found under the hull the germ or rice kernel is nutrient dense, which simply means it is full of B vitamins, minerals, and proteins. It helps to give rice its color and added nutritional benefits. Good? Awesome. Now, we're going to look in detail now on the production of rice. After harvesting, the rice arrives at the rice mill. It goes through a process of sorting. At this stage, it is called paddy rice. The outer layer is removed by the process of hulling to produce brown rice. You may believe that white rice is bleached, but guess what? All rice grains start their journey as brown. You might be wondering how is white rice produced? It is produced during the process of milling where the bran is removed from the grain to produce pure white grain. To arrive at brown rice, the husk is removed from the paddy rice. The husk is used to make animal food. At the end of the session, you should be able to state a definition for cereals, label the cereal grain, discuss the nutritive value of a cereal grain, 
label the rice grain, define at least three key terms related to the production of rice, and most importantly, to outline the production process of rice. You're just awesome. You've made it to the end of the video. If you need more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and also share with persons who you think may find it useful. Thank you for watching.